Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going over PAT and PAT stands for Pediatric Assessment Triangle and it's what we use to evaluate a child or pediatric or infant whatever you want to call them so pediatric so you have pediatric and I prefer the AHA definition pediatric is an infant and child all right so when we're talking about pediatrics we're talking about infants and children and what the pad does is that it helps us evaluate the child before we even get to the kid so as we're walking in the house or we're walking up to the child the pediatric we're kind of getting a good little assessment of what's going on with the child just by glancing at the child and seeing how they're reacting so that's why the PAT, the Pediatric Assessment Triangle, is also known as the From the Door Assessment. I'll put assess for assessment. So whenever you hear From the Door Assessment, we're talking about the Pediatric Assessment Triangle. It's the exact same thing. Um, by now, you, you might have noticed that a lot of terms or scenarios or skills or things you do in general in EMS uh, there's different names for it but it means the same thing alright so the pad is the exact same thing as the from the door assessment and it's just that assessment just like I said it's that assessment that we do before we even get to the child we're trying to look for these three things alright so the appearance of the child how do they look so whenever you as you're approaching the child before you even get there are they tracking you, right? Are they active? Are, are they messing around like a normal kid would? Or are they just sluggish, kind of no activity, looking really sad? That's what we're looking at when we're looking at the appearance. So, is the child, are they active? And tracking you? Or, and or are they kind of sad looking, uh, no activity, alright? So as far as appearance goes, that's what we're looking for. Activity, how they're looking, are they happy, sad, sluggish, active, um, stuff like that. Now as far as breathing goes, we're looking for a few things for breathing. We're looking both for uh, retraction. So let me see if I could draw it right here. So we'll, we'll pretend that these are the ribs, right? This is the sternum right here. Now, if a kid is having difficulty breathing, and I mean really bad, you'll see retraction. So you can actually see the ribs because of the muscles retracting in. Do you see that? That's one thing. So do you see retraction? Also, as far as work of breathing, uh, do you hear any wheezing? So any abnormal noise. So I'm just going to put abnormal noise. Noise. And this could be wheezing. So I'll put a W for wheezing. Do you have wheezing? Do you have hoarseness? Or do you have strider? I, I did make a video on what these are. So if you want to reference that video, um, it'll put everything into better per perspective. Also, posturing. So... Let's go ahead and put uh, position of the patient. So position. One thing that you'll see with babies especially is that they'll stiffen up. They'll stiffen up and their, their head will look upward. And what their body is doing is it's automatically just kind of aligning the airway to allow the maximum amount of O2 or air intake and that's what you'll have with kids so you'll have retraction some kind of kind of abnormal wheezing or noise in general and then position are they lined up so they would be lined up head straight up and just really aligned um, for more air to come in as far as circulation um, the tone so the tone of color we can generally tell um, it doesn't really matter what 
uh, the color of the kid is or child or person in general but you can tell when their skin doesn't look right when it's malted or it's kind of discolored it's kind of um, also bluish is there cyanosis so cyanosis bluing uh, you'll see this around the lips uh, the nose maybe the fingertips but really you'll see it around the mouth a lot uh, that means there's hypoxia very very low O2 hypoxia for hypo for that and yeah, is general really how are they looking so what this is is that it's really a general impression of your patient your kid and it's really going to dictate how that call is going to run by me approaching the patient with the pat um, does the kid look active happy are they breathing okay then if they are if that's yes then I'm not really going to worry as much as opposed to if I come in I see a sluggish kid on the ground not really active not tracking me now I'm more worried and I'm going to take more um, a faster approach and really kind of be more active in the car so that's what the pad does for you. It just kind of tells you which road to take. Should I take the really cautious, really fast road? Or do I have time to kind of play around, take vital signs, stuff like that? I hopefully, hopefully this video helped out, guys. If not, like always, leave a video below. Um, and I'm going to make a video later on today on how to use a kid for a child. So, see you guys. Take care.